Alright, and here we're going to demonstrate some trait care. Um, make sure that the patient is fully aware of what you're going to do to him. Perform hand hygiene, raise the bed up to at least 45 degrees, and then have your suction set up as well as your oxygen, hyperoxygenate them if you need to, um, check the O2 sats, okay? Alright, so then we have our um, sterile gloves right next to us. And then it is a sterile procedure, so hopefully all these things are open already, your trait care kit. Um, the newer ones, you don't have to worry about cleaning the inner cannula, it's just disposable. So uh, right along on the cleaning, inner to outer from the faceplate on. And after you're done cleaning, it's now normal saline. Um, check your ho hospital policies though. Uh, for us, it's normal saline. So you clean the faceplate and also underneath it, assessing for any skin breakdown, and, um, and there you go. You make sure that your two fingers are always on the neck plate itself. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove the collar from the patient. All right, so gently remove one side at a time and then slip it through. Have your new one readily available. And there you go, slip it out. Put the new one on. Usually it's done with two people, but in reality, it's kind of hard for you to go ahead and grab yourself your respiratory therapist if they're not available or second hand on the floor, you know. So this is the way it's going. And then you grab the new one, stick it on and gently put it behind the patient's neck all the way through. And then your new one uncovered unclamp that yes all right and then take off the old um, collar off of that patient and with your fingers still pressing onto the neck uh, plate to ensure that this trach does not get dislodged okay so then you pull it through perfect all right and then um, make sure that it's not too tight one to two fingers and then that this is directly midline and then also checking to make sure that there is an extra inner cannula available readily um, so should anything get dislodged it's quite easy to go ahead and plop a new one in there so this part right here you're just going to get the two leverages and press them together there is a size on the neck plate put the new one on there and there you are at an angle make sure you don't push against it if there's resistance just kind of shimmy it in there and then you'll feel a click and there you are you're ready and then you place your um, either four by four split gauze but for our hospital we're using a leave-in and then the split side up right underneath there you go again holding gently to the neck plate so that it doesn't get dislodged or the patient doesn't start coughing in your face also ensure that there is an obturator next by, uh, right next to the patient, just in case that also gets dislodged, okay? Um, there you are.